So we start with the square and we're going to fold it in half diagonally. So we line the two corners together, hold it loosely and then crease. Now I want to fold the edge down to that middle line. So it's a diagonal fold, turn over and do the same thing. Now from this kite shape, I want to fold a corner over the folded edges. So I'm folding it in and crease. Now I'll we'll unfold and fold the corner back in. Let's put another fold in the other diagonal. So again we line the corners up, hold them together and crease. Open up again and we fold the corner back in. Now we're going to fold the lower corners in along the middle crease. On the top bottom. And then we'll fold the opposite corner in. Then unfold. Now we're going to fold it in half. Take one of the corners, fold it up, open it and squash it flat. Now take the edges and fold them in on both sides of this corner, fold them into the middle crease, unfold. Now we'll petal fold up and this will cause the edges to fold in. So we've put the crease in previously one crease will reverse and the two sides will fold in. This is half a bird base. Now we're going to open up and stretch the shape. It's actually called a stretch bird base. Now along the original crease we fold it behind. It'll cause the point to flip out. Fold it down Again, repeat the same in the other corner. So we're going to fold the corner up, crease, holding it up, separate the layers and squash. Now again, fold the edges into the middle on both sides. Unfold and now we'll petal fold up. Again, this is a bird base shape. And down again. And then we're going to open it up and squash. This is actually called a stretch bird base shape. Then fold the edge behind. Now, we're going to fold the corners out again and fold the whole thing in half. So the folds we made just now will be inside. Now, if this is a rectangle, I'm folding that folded edge down to the lower edge. Fold the lower corner down. And then fold the, uh, the outer corners in on both sides. Unfold. And we're going to reverse them inside. So I'm folding the top layer over. And that causes that fold to fold in. And back again. And the same on the other side. So I'm folding it up. Folding the point over squash and refold take the low 
corner, fold it up, and then fold the edge down to the middle line, to the crease at least, and then the back section will fold over. So we've just taken some of the paper away from that. So we'll do the same thing. Okay, we'll pinch that edge and fold it down to the lower edge crease. Unfold and then fold the corners in. So both corners can fold in. Now unfold. I'm going to reverse those corners inside. So that point's folding over. And the same on the other side. So we're folding that in. And back again. Again, fold the lower corner up. I'm going to match the same on the other side. So I fold the right side over first, and then the left. And you'll see that then the looser layer is towards the back. Just tidy it up. Now, I'm going to open up and look in the middle section. Now, take these edges and fold them into the middle. This is preparation for more complex folds coming up. So fold it in on the top and the bottom. The layers are quite thick in some point, but and unfold. Now we're going to open up this layer and we're going to reverse this inside. So it's actually called a squash fold. What I'm doing is unfolding the section, creasing around the edges, and reversing the section inside. Then refold. Top section, open up. Reverse the section inside. So I'm finding the creases and creasing around the edges of it and then pushing it inside. So it's just sink fold I say. And then reform. Now it's a bit tricky. There's a layer underneath here, front of it. I want to actually fold that in. Because I can't fold the top layer without doing that. So I'm going to fold it in so that corner is folding into the middle crease. Do it on the top and bottom. And then same on the other side. Do that corner's folding in. So it should be the tail, I'm going to narrow it. So I'm folding the edges in. This has been released by the fold we just made. I'm going to do that on one side. Now, I fold the leg over, narrow it by folding the upper edge over, fold it, crease it, and I can just tuck it inside the pocket there. And I'm folding it forward and then back down again. And if I open it up, there's a little section inside. I'm going to just tuck that up so that increases the amount of paper immediately available. And that will just give the leg a bit more shape. Do the same on the front leg. So I'm folding the edge over, narrowing it. Again, tucking that over the adjacent edge. Fold it back. Now. For the front section, I'm going to narrow the head, but in a slightly different way. So I'm folding the edge over, and that will release some of the paper at the front. Fold the leg over. In the same process as before, there's a little corner behind I'm just going to fold up. Which I do there. Do 
the same one behind. So what I'll start with, fold the leg forward, fold the edge over to narrow it, and then tuck it into the pocket, and then fold that leg down again. And again, open it up and just reverse out a triangle. Same in the front, again, fold that leg the point over, narrow the leg, tuck it into the adjacent pockets, and fold it back. Again, folding the edge over. This is starting to form sort of a neck shape, and you'll see the back of the head forming, just in, in, in my left hand. And fold the leg over, open up and fold the triangle out underneath and squash. Now I'm going to give the legs a bit more shape. So what I'm going to do is open it up and reversing it inside and then back again. So it's actually a crimp fold. That just gives it a little more definition. Same on the front legs. So open it up, fold it up and down again. Add some feet. So again, I'm going to fold it back and out again. Again, open up the point, fold it behind, and then forwards. Turn over. Same as leg. So what I'm doing is first of all this crimp fold. So I'm folding up inside, and then back down again. And take the tip and fold it back and forward again. Come for the back leg, open it up again. Reverse it up and down again. Then take the point, pull it back and forwards again. Now I'll complete the head. So I'll take the point fold it backwards and then fold the tip up to the front. I'll take the edges and fold them over. So we're forming a little edge and we can use that. So right at the end I'll fold up some nostrils. See some trapped paper here. I'm just opening it up. Can't really see. And then squashing it to make an eye. Turn over the same. Folding the edge over. Again, fold the tip over and just open up that paper. And there's an eye. Very much a thunder lizard.